What is up guys, the Valley here with another Wizard 101 video and uh, boy do I do I have a treat for you guys today. So today we are going to be begin the first episode of uh, Cooking with Val, yours truly. So today we have a very, very special recipe. So let's go over, let's look in our, our book over here. Alright, where is it? <clears throat> Crafting. All right, so this this is what we're cooking today. It's called Queen Calypso. It's a very very special special recipe handed down from from generation to generation. So let's go ahead and get this started, okay? All right, now the first thing you have to do before you start any recipe is a look at you know all the ingredients, all the reagents, everything you need for the spell. Uh, I mean meal. So here we here we have Queen Calypso. We need eight different things. We need the treasure card, Queen Calypso, the perfect onyx. The ghost fire, blood moss, uh, bone, spring, sunstone, and amber. So eight reagents. Uh, I'm gonna show you where you guys can get each of these reagents, so you can craft this spell for yourself. Now the first two reagents we're gonna be looking for are perfect onyx and ghost fire. So let me show you guys how you can get those. Okay. So we're gonna go this way. Right over here. Down here. Oh boy, it's lagging a little bit. I do apologize. Don't know why it's doing that. Alright, so to Celestia, that's where you're gonna go. You're gonna find a reagent vendor over here. Let's go check him out. Alright, so his name is Architus? Architus? Ar Architus? Like, I don't know. Arthritis? Okay, here we go. Alright, Arthritis, what do you got for us? Let's see. Uh, we need two different things. What was it again? Perfect Onyx and Ghost Fire. So you can find both of those here. Here's the Perfect Onyx. Only 100 apiece, and you need 120 of them. As you can see, we already went ahead and purchased that. And then you also need the Ghost Fire. You need 200 Ghost Fire. It's a little bit more. Same price. These are really, these are the two easiest things to get. I think so let's go ahead and move on to the next reagent everyone all right so for the next three reagents that we're gonna be talking about you're gonna want to go ahead and purchase a transmute recipe and you can get all three of them here from Avery Templeton the treasure card recipe vendor so the three that you're gonna want to get <clears throat> are let me find them first so the first one is transmute blood moss this is really important because blood moss is extremely hard to find in the bazaar anywhere so you find red mandrakes and you transmute those into blood moss and you're gonna need 120 of these for queen calypso so you know quite a few the next transmute you're gonna want to get from here is uh transmute spring right here you use scrap iron transmute it into spring you're gonna need i think it's 60 let me go double check i'm pretty sure it's 60 though yeah 60 springs and then the last transmute is transmute where is it sunstone and uh, you use sandstone and you you transmute it into sunstone and you're gonna need 60 of those i think as well yep 60 springs 60 sunstone and 120 blood moss in my opinion i think the blood moss is the hardest part of this this uh special recipe so let's go ahead and move on to the next reagent now for the next reagent you're gonna want to head to a very special place all right, so let's go ahead and go this way. Now, this reagent is uh, also probably one of the harder ones to get, and that is amber. There's a couple ways you can get amber. Um, you can either garden for it. There's a couple plants like king parsley that have a chance of dropping it at elder. Um, you can also get a recipe to transmute it, which I will show you right after this. And uh, the method that I recommend, though, is going to a certain place to farm for amber this boss that i'm about to show you um the drop rate for it's pretty high um i'd say every three two or three battles you'll get an amber and he's not too difficult if you're you know a high high level max level so you're gonna want to head over here to this chariot apollo's chariot and go all of, all of the way over to aquila and then you go over here so this is the dungeon you're gonna want to head to it's called Mount Olympus. It's the level 30 dungeon in Aquila. Now, the name of this boss that you're going to want to farm, he is called the Gladiator. 
He has about 30,000 health, so he's pretty he's pretty tough. He does cheat a little bit. Uh, I'm not going to go into what the cheats are. They're not really that bad, and you can always, you know, look that up on your own. So you're going to want to head this way. Oh, God, what's going on? My frames. Please. All right, you go this way. You don't even have to do the main, you know, dungeon sequence. You don't have to do what it says, you know, talk to Athena. You just go straight down here to where the chessboard area is. Let's change mounts. All right, there we go. And you go down here to Pit of the Noxie. It looks like you can't go in. It's kind of like a gate, but you actually can. So go over here, and this is the guy you fight for Amber. All right, so let's go ahead and move on to the next reagent. Uh, actually, no, before I do that, let me show you where you can get the transmute. All right, so to find the transmute, you're going to have to head to Avalon, and then you go to the wild over here to this guy right here. His name is Shane Macagoban. Mac Macagoban? I don't, I don't know. Okay, so you go to him, and he has the recipe for it over here. Go to all cards, transmute recipes, and this is transmute amber. So you need five Merle's Whisker, five Amber Dust, 15 Sunstone, and 10 Golden Pearl. And, you know, these reagents are hard to get to, but if you have them, you might as well use it to transmute the amber. All right, let's go ahead and move on to the next reagent, guys. All right, so for the next reagent, we're going to head to our favorite place in the game, the Bazaar. And uh, the name of the reagent that you're going to be looking for here is... Oh god, my frames. Is it bone? Where is it? Bone. Just bone. Just need a bone. You can't have it uh, boneless. It's not allowed. You gotta have the bones, man. So you go over here. Go to regions. Should be a ton of them. Yeah, look at that. There's 462. So, easy. One of the easiest regions to get from this recipe. Moving on. Alright, so for the last reagent in this, you're gonna need a special treasure card. Kind of hard to get Queen Calypso. Uh, I mean, you could trade with friends. You might get lucky and find it at the bazaar. Um, you can also farm Lore Master for it. Maybe get lucky and grab one as well. It's not too hard to get these, though. You only need 10, so it won't be that bad. All right, so we have all of our reagents, so let's 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 start the cooking, okay? So the first thing you're going to want to do, very important, very, very important. You have to get your blood moss, and you gotta you got to wash it off, so let's go ahead and do that. Okay. Blood Moss, Blood Moss is taken care of. What's up? What's next? What's next? Let's see. Let's see. Let's see. Oh, no. Oh, no. <gasps> oh, we actually have to heat up the Sunstone. That's right. You always have to heat up your Sunstones before you, you know, start crafting with them. So let me, let me go ahead and do that. I'll be right back. Let's go throw these Sunstones in the microwave. So Alright guys, so now that the sunstones are taken care of, let's go ahead and uh, throw these all together. So once you have your sunstones heated up and you've washed off your blood moss, you're going to head over to the, cro ah, the card crafting station. Okay, so let's see. Got everything. We got the Queen Calypso. Perfect Onyx, Ghost Fire, Blood Moss, Bone, Spring, Sunstone, and Amber. All eight of them. Here we go. Let's make this masterpiece. Oh yeah, look at that. Oh, it smells delicious. Let's go ahead. Let's go. Let's go try this out. Hold on. Right, let's go out here. Let me make sure it's in my deck. Okay, I'll be this. All right. So let's head to. Should we go to the commons? Let's go to Golem Tower, maybe. Evan Windmass, what's up, man? Okay. Here we are. All right, wooden construct. Prepare to be amazed. All right, here we go. So it's 445 to 505 damage without the enchant. With the enchant. Oh my god, that does so much. The accuracy is kind of low, though. It's only 65. So you have a pretty high chance of fizzling this. Unless you have good gear. Oh, 
Oh my god, that smells delicious! And we crit! So much flavor in one spell, I love it. Alright guys, and there you have it. This was uh, this first episode of Cooking with Val. I hope you guys enjoyed, and uh, if you do decide to craft this spell, I, I hope this video helps you, you know, gather all the necessary reagents and all of that. And remember, always microwave your sunstone. This is Val, signing off. Peace out!